there are many unknown dangers around us, and this includes the everyday appliances we use inside our homes. Here are 12 dangerous household appliances that could seriously kill you. Number 12. Gas-Powered Appliances Gas-powered appliances can be very deadly and dangerous without you realizing it. This includes gas-powered water heaters, furnaces, space heaters, and kitchen stoves. The problem comes in the form of carbon monoxide, an odorless gas that is released in defective gas-powered appliances. The worst part of carbon monoxide is that people don't realize they're breathing it in, as it has no smell or taste. There might be, however, several warning signs such as drowsiness, dizziness, headache, nausea, and chest pain. If one does not make it towards fresh air soon enough, they will die. Carbon monoxide poisoning is typically common during winter months due to increased domestic use of heating appliances that use gas. An estimated 40,000 people in the U.S. seek medical attention for carbon monoxide poisoning every year, and it is not uncommon to hear news of entire families dying silently in their homes from the effects of the poisonous gas. Number 11. Extension Cords they seem so simple and incapable of causing problems. An extension cord by itself is a safe household appliance, but the way it is often used, or rather misused, can make it dangerous. In fact, extension cords are one of the leading causes of house fires in the U.S. Many people don't realize or tend to ignore the fact that there is a voltage capacity for power sockets and plug in as many plugs as they can, as we usually see on carpets and under the furniture. With more gadgets and electronic devices than ever now, Nowadays, we tend to overload each socket with multiple adapters and extensions. Some people go as far as plugging in cheaply made electronics that don't adhere to safety regulations and leave them unattended. All of this, together with faulty or aging wiring and plugs, creates a huge potential for a fire hazard. The best solution is to be sensible with your plugging and not to buy cheap and badly manufactured electronics that aren't regulated. If an appliance uses a lot of power, like a kettle, it should be the only one occupying its socket. Pocket. Number 10. Ionization Type Smoke Detectors Smoke detectors may save thousands of lives every year, and households would be a lot safer with them, but they still do carry some risks. Inside an ionization type smoke detector is a radioactive material called americium-241. This material ionizes the air surrounding it, and should the air come into contact with smoke, the alarm is triggered. Americium-241 emits alpha particles and low-energy gamma rays. They are safe when stuck to the ceiling, but should someone be curious enough to take the smoke detector apart and expose themselves to the radioactive material, it would be dangerous. Nothing would happen right away, but prolonged exposure to any radioactive substances causes DNA damage and mutation, and this would eventually lead to fatal illnesses like cancer. There's still a lot of debate and research going on about the subject. Some say that smoke detectors don't pose much of a threat, while others think otherwise. The best thing to do is to stick on the safe side. Never open a smoke detector and should one fall off the ceiling and break apart, make sure to dispose of it properly. Number 9. Refrigerators that metal box which we use for keeping our food fresh has the potential to behave like a powerful bomb. Its compressor can explode, and you don't want to be around the house when that happens. Compressors in refrigerators used to use chlorofluorocarbon, CFC, but these days they've been switched to hydrofluorocarbon, HFC, a gas that is more flammable. In case of any leakage, the compressor could easily catch fire and blow up. An old danger that refrigerators used to pose was the horrifying refrigerator death. During the early years of refrigerators, it was common for children to accidentally get trapped inside them and die by suffocation. These refrigerator deaths happened because early models had doors that could only be opened from the outside, making it easy for a child playing around to get trapped inside. Since such devices are designed to be airtight when closed, it would only take a short while for them to die due to lack of oxygen. Because of the large number of such incidents, manufacturers came up with the current door design that closes with a magnetic mechanism, making it possible to be open and closed from the inside. Legislation was passed to make sure all refrigerators were designed this way, and the number of child corpses found in the appliances dropped significantly. Number 8. 
kitchen stoves and ovens. The dangers of kitchen stoves and ovens are obvious. Because of the nature of their use, they could easily cause burns and fires. In fact, most home fires are caused by these types of cooking appliances. According to the National Fire Protection Association, U.S. fire departments respond to an average of 160,000 home fires every year that involve cooktops, stoves, or ovens. Although some model units are flawed, most accidents are the result of misuse and carelessness. Unattended cooking is the largest contributing factor in fires and deaths. A burning kitchen stove should never be left unattended, and stovetops should always be kept clear of flammable objects like food crumbs and kitchen towels. Number 7. Dishwashers Dishwashers are full of hidden dangers, especially for little children. There is scolding water running inside the machine, not to mention many sharp utensils and moving components that little hands may want to grab. For this reason, little kids should never be left unattended when a dishwasher is running. Adults must also be extra careful, as the steam coming out when the door is open can be really hot. Knives loaded into the machine should always be pointing downwards instead of upright. There is one case of a British woman who died in a freak accident after slipping in her kitchen and landing on knives sticking out of the dishwasher. Dishwashers are also not as clean as many people think. The door gasket may be contaminated with fungus and black yeast. In fact, it is estimated that up to 60% of all dishwashing machines are contaminated. Also, like all electrical appliances, they have been responsible for many cases of house fires. Number 6. Microwave Ovens Microwaves emit radiation of the non-ionizing type, so they don't exactly pose the same risks as x-rays or other types of ionizing radiation. They can, however, heat our body tissues the same way they heat food. The thermal effects of microwaves can cause varying effects, including skin burns, cataracts, testicular degeneration, and low sperm count. There are reports of people experiencing serious burns and scolding injuries on their faces and hands as a result of hot water erupting out of an overheated cup. Overheating water in a microwave oven can result in superheated water, which has passed boiling temperature, but without appearing to boil. Besides that, food reheated in microwave ovens usually reach a lower temperature than classical reheating, meaning pathogens and microbes are more likely to survive and cause food poisoning. Number 5. Irons Children could easily be burned by a hot iron, and one study showed that about 74% of such burn cases surprisingly occurred among young children who were under adult supervision. It is usually the hands that are hurt because children touch the irons. Also, their reflexes are not as well developed as adults, making them touch the hot appliance for a longer period instead of letting go immediately. This leads to painful second-degree burns which blister. Left without proper medical attention, they become a source of infection which complicates the scarring and loss of function. Irons should always be turned off immediately when not in use, and children especially should be reminded of its dangers and the fact that it takes a while to cool down after being switched off. Number 4. Toasters an estimated 700 people around the world are killed by these little machines each year, either by fires or electrocutions. Although all toasters are now manufactured with a built-in anti-jam and auto shutoff mechanism, they tend to fail after years of use and food buildup. Exposed electrical currents inside toasters can also cause fatal electrical shocks. It is wise not to stick metal forks or any other conductive cutlery into a toaster to remove jammed toast without unplugging it first. Putting a fork inside a toaster creates a new electrical path through the fork and into your body, making you toast. Another danger a toaster could pose, albeit an unusual one, is that it could be used as a weapon. In 2002, a 29-year-old Texas woman named Mariella Quinones Karbowski beat her husband to death using a two-slice toaster before throwing the victim's body with the murder weapon into Trinity River. Number 3. Space Heaters it is estimated that space heaters cause at least 21,000 home fires in the U.S. annually, killing about 300 people every year as a result of the related fires. Other dangers related to space heaters include electric shock, burns, gas leaks, and carbon monoxide poisoning. It is estimated that 95% of all carbon monoxide poisoning deaths in the U.S. is caused by gas space heaters alone. Safety measures include keeping a space heater at least 3 feet from the wall, 
turning it off when not in use, and to never dry clothes on it. In the case of electrical heaters, don't use extension cords or share other appliances with it using the same power socket. Number 2. Lightings Household lighting could cause many accidents in a number of ways. Faulty sockets, poorly installed wires, loose fitting, and faulty light bulbs can all cause electrical fires. Light shades that come into contact with light bulbs should also be watched. A knock could cause the two to collide, and the heat could start a fire. Also, fluorescent light bulbs and some energy-saving light bulbs contain mercury, a metal which is in liquid form at room temperature. It's very poisonous, so if you accidentally break a light bulb containing mercury, be careful when cleaning it up. Direct contact is not advised. Mercury also tends to vaporize in the air, and breathing in the fumes can lead to dangerous consequences. Although only a small amount of mercury is found in light bulbs, it can still pack a punch if handled incorrectly. Ventilate the room and wear gloves when cleaning up. If you do inhale mercury fumes, expect chest pains, shaking, twitching, difficulty breathing, and even coughing up blood. Number 1. Pressure Cookers Pressure cookers are extremely convenient. They help us cook faster than conventional boiling methods while saving more energy. However, the high internal pressure created inside the closed cooker could result in explosions. For this reason, pressure cookers are normally built with safety valves that ease the pressure when it gets too high. However, faulty devices and cheap products could sometimes get their safety valves blocked by food, leading to accidents. There are countless incidents of pressure cookers exploding worldwide, causing horrible burn injuries to victims. To prevent such incidents, consumers should always make sure not to fill the pressure cooker over its limits and to make sure the pressure valve is not faulty or blocked. On the evening of August the 2nd, 2016, three days after Ali Brugger's murder in Michigan, caterer and blogger Karina Vetrano went jogging around the Belt Parkway in Queens, New York. When she failed to return home after hours of being out, her father, who she was staying with, went out looking for 